Hey guys, it's Keisha Dixon, the Tapping Queen here, and I want to talk about going live on social media. When you're about to hit start on that camera, do you suddenly feel like, ooh, I don't know what I'm going to say. I have absolutely nothing to say <laughs> about your business or what it is that you do. And sometimes it's it happens, this foggy brain, I call it, before you even um, hit start right? When you even think about going live, you're like, I don't know what I would say. I have nothing to say. And I know that that is simply resistance. Resistance to doing the very thing that you intended to do. And that is to show up present on live, on live as your most authentic, powerful self. So I wanted to do a tapping for that very thing. And we're going to start on the karate chop point we'll start with the setup okay so just thinking about um not have not being clear on what it is that you want to say before going on live whether that's at a 10 like i have absolutely no idea what i'm going to say that would be a 10 and a one with why am i watching this video i'm ready to go on live now <laughs> And just write that number down. I'm tapping through the points, starting on the karate chop. Even though I'm not sure about this going live thing, I don't know what it is that I would say. I don't know how hard it will be to get the words out. I choose to have faith that I'm going to follow my intention of going live. My intention is to become more me than I've ever been on camera with people listening in those people who bring me joy maybe that's what it will be like to be on camera live as I let go of any beliefs or programming that say I need to struggle to come up with the words that say I need to struggle to think about what to say even though I'm not sure about this and I'm not sure what I'm going to say. I choose to have faith that I'm going to follow my intention. And my intention is to become more me on camera than ever before. As I say what I have to say. Tapping through the points. It's too much. I don't know how, what I'm going to say. It just can't happen. How can I possibly turn on that camera? I have nothing to say. What could I possibly say that would matter? I don't have the words. I don't know what this will be like. I've never met this goal before. It bothers me to even set the intention of showing up live with something to say. That would be too hard. I have nothing to say. It's just too big for me. Saying something on camera for others to listen to what would that be like i can't imagine it what could i possibly say that would have any value that anyone would want to hear why did i even set this intention showing up live on camera with something to say it's just too much i don't speak ever i don't let anyone ever hear my voice it's just too much and it seems like it'll be really really hard and it will probably require a ton of work 
to open my mouth and say what's on my mind, to form an opinion out loud. It's just too much. It's just too hard. I'm not sure about this. It just doesn't feel safe. This might be really, really hard. I have nothing to say. Never have. Never will. This is too hard. And I'm open to breathing in a little healing around this on having something to say. And just take a deep breath. And notice where you are on a scale of one to 10 on how, if you have anything to say. In fact, as we were tapping, I wouldn't be surprised if you came up with some ideas of things to say. Jot those down. And if it has gone higher and you're even more triggered about what would I say live, going live on camera, that's okay. That just means there's simply more tapping to do in this area. And write down everything that comes up. Okay, we're going to tap in on a positive round now. Oh boy, this is my intention to go live and actually have something to say. And I'm just not sure about this. And there's a part of me that still thinks it might be hard to get there. Even though I'm choosing, I'm choosing to have faith and follow my intention. And my intention is to step into each day, into my life's purpose, and to open up my mouth and speak my truth loud enough so I can hear. And those who are there for me, for them to hear too. Yes, this is my life's purpose. To live with passion and with joy. And to become more of me. More of me than I've ever been. And to share with others my viewpoints so they can get to know who I am and what I stand for. My intention is to be surrounded by people and the things that bring me joy and to use my voice to express my passion and my joy. As I let go of any beliefs or programming, let's say I need to struggle to find my words. Any beliefs or programming that say I need to hide behind other people's opinions and other people's words. Or that believes it's necessary for me to struggle to form my own words, my own opinion. I align with my passion. I align with my joy. I choose to align with my intention. And I choose to allow my subconscious mind to make the connection between my intention and me going on live and speaking my truth and being surrounded by those people and those things that bring me joy. I love allowing into my life, allowing my voice to be heard, allowing more people and things 
that bring me joy. I'm choosing to have faith that I'm following my positive intention. And take a deep breath and release. And just notice where you are on whether or not you have something to say to go on live. And if you're still feeling unclear about what you could say, just keep tapping. I'm Keisha Dixon, the Tapping Queen. I guide women to shatter their internal glass ceiling as they double their income doing what they love. You can follow me on my Facebook page. Um, it's a closed group at the $100,000 Minute. Have a great day, everyone.